fought bravely and sacrificed much to bring us to this point. Yeah! Alfred thinks he can hide behind the walls of his castle. But we will fight our way in and drag him out through the rubble to face justice. Because this is the end for them. The storm cloaks will fight like cornered rats. They will be fierce and crafty. But they are no match for legionnaires. You are the best and the brightest warriors in Tamriel. Professional soldiers. Fearless and devastating. The Emperor will be paying close attention to what happens here today. Men who distinguish themselves will be well rewarded. <laughs> For the Empire. For the Secure huh? the door. Already done, sir. Alfred Stormcloak. You are guilty of insurrection, murder of Imperial citizens, the assassination of King Torek, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Step aside, Galmar. We're here to accept Ulfric's surrender. I'll never surrender Skyrim into the hands of a corrupt and dying empire. Skyrim doesn't belong to you, Ulfric. No, but I belong to her. Enough! You are traitors and will die traitors' deaths. Stand down and face public execution. Or advance and face summary execution by my hands. It matters little to me. Either way, I'll be sending your heads back to Cyrodiil. Well, what are we waiting for? For the Emperor of Skyrim! I will kill you! I will kill you! Die, damn you! No here now. Well, Alfric, you can't escape from me this time. Any last requests before I send you to... to wherever you people go when you die? Sovngarde, sir. Right. Well? Let the Dragonborn be the one to do it. It'll make for a better song. Song or not, I just want it done. Here, use my sword to do it. I made sure to sharpen it for the occasion.
with you. What was that, Leggett? Nothing. Just saying goodbye. Well, the men will be expecting some kind of speech. And we'll need to hand the city over to that free winter fellow. Runwolf, yes, I've sent men to protect him and bring him here. Windhelm will need a government quickly if we are to prevent more violence. The Legion will be staying here for quite some time. I don't expect there to be any further violence. Oh, and Leggett, it's been an honor to have you at my side. As a token of my appreciation, I want you to keep my sword. And now to deliver a speech. Hmm? No. I suspect Skyrim to be my home for many years. I can't say I'll ever get used to the damn cold or understand these Nords, but I've come to respect them. The harshness of Skyrim has a way of carving a man down to his true self. The fiercest of the remaining rebels will continue to harass us, but by and large the people here desire peace. What I'm not so sure about is the peace we've made with the Thalmor. But we'll keep that between the two of us, all right? Ulfric is dead and his army destroyed. There's not much more I could ask of you. The gods, however, I suspect, may have plans for you elsewhere. That said, Stormcloak true believers are still operating out of hidden military camps in the hills. If you encounter any on your travels, kill them. With luck, they'll soon lose heart and return to their homes and families. If not, we'll be forced to put them all to the sword. You're dismissed. Attention! General Tullius has an announcement. The rebellion is over. Alfric Stormcloak is dead. His head will be sent to Cyrodiil, where it will adorn a spike on the walls of the Imperial City. Let this day be a final warning to all who would still call themselves Stormcloaks. We are turning the city over to Brunwolf Freewinter, an honorable and faithful man. Many of you will be staying in Windhelm to aid the Jarl in restoring order and stamping out any embers of rebellion that may still smolder here. In appreciation for your exemplary service, I am doubling your pay and compensation to the widows of your fallen comrades. I am proud of all of you. All hail the Emperor. All hail his legionnaires. I hate giving speeches. It wasn't so bad. I hope we haven't just created a martyr. There's bound to be resistance. There are many Stormcloak camps tucked away in the hills. They'll no doubt strike whenever and wherever they can. But without Ulfric to inflame their passions, they'll settle down and return to their homes eventually. I pray you're right, Legend. In the meantime, we'll continue to root them out and put them to the sword. We couldn't have done this without you. The Empire glories in your accomplishments. Come, Rika. There's still much to be done. Sometimes I wonder if the gods have abandoned... There are those who still call themselves Stormcloaks, who continue to fight us and bring misery to the people. But they are few in number. The ordinary citizen will be happy to get back to life as normal, to have their families return home. And they should enjoy it while they can. I suspect all of Tamriel will again be called to arms in the not-too-distant future. The Generals put me in charge of assisting the new governments. I may understand things here in Skyrim better than the General, but I'm a soldier at heart, not a politician. But I'll do my best. This is the land of my birth, the land that shaped me. I'm proud to have any part in making it strong again. The Legion's work is far from finished, but you are free to roam. I suspect you'll be of greater good to Skyrim out there in the world. If, while you're out there, you stumble into any Stormcloak military camps, I expect you to destroy them. 
I've reports they are hiding in the hills. Mm-hmm. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. It's from... Falk Firebeard at the Blue Palace. Ooh, you've got friends in high places. Looks like that's it. Got to go. You look at the finest weapons and armor. Good day. Thank you so much for taking care of those steeds. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Courier must have found you. Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Hotema escaped. We've encountered some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him, to see if Steer can tell us what to do next. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. Oh, hello. Just tidying up.
Careful. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you? You must be the one Falk spoke so highly of. What? Ah, Potema. Former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Good. Being at the summoning created a connection to Potema. You are the one to do this. I can provide you with some help with her minions. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by R.K. Okay, bless you with a long life. Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Free to take a seat or pray at the shrine. We appreciate worship in all its forms. Remind us of our place when we forget. Let us walk in the step. You've arrived at last. The hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. I have much to thank you for, little one. When you die, I will raise you, and you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. Come <laughs> on. 
come far, Morton. No doubt you seek to enter Potema Sanctum. Where? <laughs> Not much further. Come to me. Serve me in death. My inner council? Let's see.
I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you? You've returned. Excellent. These things do have a way of working out when people take action. I'll sanctify the remains. In case Falk doesn't make it clear, Solitude owes you a debt of gratitude. May the gods watch over You've done a great thing today. It doesn't matter who you support in the war, but Tama would have been a blight on the land for both sides. Without you, this would have been a disaster. I should have paid more heed to Varnius's warnings. I won't make that mistake again. Take this payment. The Jarl would thank you, but she very much wants to keep Potema's return quiet. Make no mistake, we consider you a protector of solitude. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire. If you're here to purchase, I have many spells available. Do come in. My talents are much needed here in order to keep Morthal safe. Take a look. Till next time.
close enough. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. My mother and father died years My ago. talents are much needed talents here in order to keep now. Morthal safe. Morthal is a troubled place. It's my duty to see it rest in peace. I was valiant right, if someday I can learn. Disrespect the law, and you disrespect me. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. You look sick. I hope it's not contagious. Mm -hmm. What do you need, Mord?
If you need... Jürgen and I both work hard. All the time. No, no. Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I just often don't have much to do, so I tend to... try things out. They don't usually work, but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. I think I can teach you a thing or two. I picked up the trade when I was a girl. One of the temple healers staying here on a pilgrimage showed me the basics. She had a book with her, Song of the Alchemists, that I used to read over and over. I miss having a copy. Really? I'd be happy to show you a bit about herbs if you find the book. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients. I... Whatever you need, Dragonborn, just say the word. No lolly gagging. Tamriel is full of wisdom. I speak and others hear. That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. 